Bree and the kids are still away. They'll get back this afternoon. And I am getting ready to kill pigs. I've got this barn to clean up. I've got a bunch of stuff to get out, to clean, to prep, chains to move, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna bring you along as I do it. One of the main things I've done today so far though is get this fridge. So I haven't gotten a ton of work done yet, but I bought this fridge. It's very old, it's $50. It was nasty. Now fortunately, cleaning out old fridges is one of my favorite things. I love cleaning other people's food out of fridges. So I really enjoyed it. And we'll turn on and test it out in a little. That fridge is for curing hams in. bathroom well in the car seat and it's everywhere this though again one of my favorite jobs so it's just a pleasure to clean up poo poo all right I took care of that diaper which was a mess and I'm gonna do some more work but first I'm gonna check on this little duckling who had a problem walking the other day you guys drink so much water and make such messes of your water I cleaned out this water totally earlier today and they drank like probably a half gallon so let's see i think that stuff over there is the one who had trouble walking it's one of the biggest ones he's getting around fine and eating and drinking This is for our scalding water. I'm filling it up right now because I don't want to test out how sturdy it is on the morning that we're killing pigs. <laughs> now I've got the baby because Bree's on, on an important phone call. I have so much stuff to do to get ready. I'm not gonna have everything set up perfectly. I'm gonna have everything set up sufficiently and I'm gonna have willing, um, helpful, folks showing up to learn and work. Oh, look at that little cutie. There's little May May. And she's out here in this back barn because all the goats are out here in this really nice weedy section here that they love so much. These two big pigs are back here in this bedding. These are the two we're doing. This coming weekend. I wanted to tell you about something I'm really excited about. Justin Rhodes has a new instructional documentary coming out and it's called Growing Bacon. He's doing a Kickstarter and I love Kickstarters because it's the same thing as YouTube. It's a bunch of people who really support something, um, supporting it in a small way and making it possible. Justin just does a great job of taking a complex topic boiling it down, pulling from experts, and giving you something that you can really use. So the Growing Bacon Kickstarter is going on right now. The other neat thing about it though is that he's focusing on raising pigs in small spaces. I really think this is the future, guys. Not the documentary, but us raising our food. It's, it's a lot of the future. Bree and I have been inspired recently I'm just so excited about what we're doing and what other YouTubers are doing has inspired people. Dad, yeah. I Whoa, careful, don't get shocked. I didn't. You may see what we're doing here and, and be inspired to do more stuff like it yourself. And this may not be for you, the cow, that's fine. But a lot of people I think are intimidated by pigs and I've always thought that pigs are actually a great starter project. Getting a piglet, you can raise it in a small space so I'm so glad that Justin has taken this topic up and I'm excited to see what he produces. If you want to get in on the Kickstarter, it's already met its goal, but if you want to get in on it, I'll put a link in the description of this video. The reason to get in on it now, and this is how a lot of Kickstarters work, is if you take that step and kind of become the shareholder up front and support the project, you actually get either the documentary or any of the other um, material that'll come out with it at a much better price 
because you're helping support the creator. So check out the link in the description if you haven't done that already. And I am looking forward to what we will support and um, will come out of this. Well, I'm not getting much done right now and it's not really okay, but it really is okay. What are you doing? A goat thinks it's dying. It sounds like it's dying. But in reality, what's happening is it's just out of sight of his mom. Most likely. Oh. So that's my plug for Justin Rhodes Project. He is a man who I really like. Um, and I believe in him and, and what he does. I think he's doing good work in the world, and so I'm always happy to support him. Look under this log. Earthworms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six earthworms under a log. Make no mistake though, six earthworms is not an earthworm party. If you're interested in seeing an earthworm party, then come back in a few weeks and I will roll over some of these whole bale, mulch bales under my apple trees. I will show you an earthworm party. That's the whole idea. I'm just putting this here so we can have a spot to put our washing tubs. Probably a soapy tub and a bleach tub like that. The sun's setting right now behind the ridge. Though it's a couple, well a little while before sunset proper. We are both beat. <laughs> Somebody's being very loud too. <laughs> We're just worn out. Um, it's been a good day. Bree was spent the night at the Rhodes house with a couple other mamas and daughters. We didn't sleep much. <laughs> All happy noises. Anyway, it's been another great day on the homestead, guys. We will see you soon. soon. <laughs>